Old cases. Do you believe there's a point where unresolved cases should be laid to rest? Let's talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about that. Welcome to Humana Story. Humana Story was built out of the need for human companionship, a togetherness that only comes from people helping others. We wanted to be able to tell our stories and share our expressions with everyone who needs them. By us telling our stories, we're able to share that moment that forever changed who we are. But the idea is not just to tell our story, but to share the journey in how we overcame that moment in our lives, allowing others to read and see the story and connect to the one sharing. Most people want to tell the horrid things, but fail to share the accomplishments. At Humana Story, we are not those people. We are strong. The winners. We are the achievers. We believe that sharing our experiences will help someone out there in the same situation and allow them to connect with others that have already conquered their struggle. We give the resource within our stories to help those who otherwise would fall. The help to stand up and face what is in front of them without fear or doubt. We believe everyone has the ability to succeed in life. If you are alive on this little rock hurtling through the endless void we call the universe, you are a Humana story. How much of one is up to you? Hello, Humana Stories, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Humana Story Live's Coffee with Humana Story. This is episode number 54. I am jo- joined by Holmes and Watson. <laughs> And uh, this lighthearted show is where we actually forced our hosts to read your comments from our previous Humana Story activities and then discuss them while you're tied to a chair and beat into submission with a, I don't know, something pipe. I think it's a kab- what, what does it say? Read it. I don't Sound know. Sound it out. <laughs> Kalaba? Is it Kalaba pipe? Why do you say lead? It, it says Kala, Kal, Kal, Kalabash pipe. <laughs> There you go. The calabash pipe. The smoker's pipe. Are we done with this? <laughs> if they're good, I'll read them on the air. If they're bad, I'm going to make Holmes and Watson read them on the air. Uh, the sponsored music we're going to be playing here will be contributed by Da Scarecrow. I don't know how to spell his name. Something like K-R-O-W. Uh, something like that. But anyway... Coffee with Humana Story is the unscripted show whose theme is created by members for members and involves Humana Story members from around the world. It's almost like everything is from the United States anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We have the unfortunate souls, Marlo and Cluso, joining us today. And if you can't find the show, you're probably using a pistol in the Highlands somewhere off grid. But more importantly, the more you weigh, the harder you are to kidnap, so eat more Yorkshire pudding. We're going to be answering questions from our Twitter account if any come in. And I'm just going to dive right into it, because I got both of those, Marlo and Cluso, with me. You guys can fight over which one is who. And uh, so, yeah, your uh, picture we were talking about just before the break. And... uh, it's a guitar. It's a beautiful guitar. <laughs> it's just so perfect. No. It's a star. I so, used to have a guitar. Now it's a star. I can't tell you which star it is, but it's a star. Yeah, Mr. Sergeant, quit masturbating in the bathroom. We know you're there. What? I'm having a drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, vodka, t- vodka and 7-Up, if you want me to be specific. Well, that's What okay. kind of vodka? A crap vodka. Ah. I'm sorry. That's the best way to have a show. I'm not. I'm not going to waste good vodka the, with Seven Up. The one in a here. big jug that you get at like Costco. No, no, it's it's just not. It's not great vodka. I have great vodka, but I'm not going to drink it tonight. <laughs> Is that that stuff from uh, CVS or something? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so listen, we're just gonna we're gonna dive right into the comments because we know that everybody likes them, and I'm gonna have uh, Brack here read them. Um, he's so, a Brack today. He's Watson. He's always Brack. <laughs> Thanks to you showing us who Brack is. Brack is back. Let you know that I'm a 
like all the comments. Oh, excuse me. Read all the comments. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, so what do we got there, buddy? Okay, buddy. We got Elliot. Uh, Phoebe. <laughs> okay, I'm reading a really good book now. Uh, this. Uh, Cyrenian Crisis of 2016. Uh, I'm reading a really good book now by internationally acclaimed writers Tom Horn and Chris Putman called The Final Roman Empire. Uh, the Eyes. The Eyes. Uh, Islamic Architects. Arctic. Christ, whatever, and it goes into great, great detail with solid facts about what's really coming. There is a there is a must read if you really want to know what is going on now and what is going to happen in the near future. Did I go to the second one or just. Okay, here's the second one. It's by Doug Klubacher. Ultimate lit, lit, Litmus Test. I have been on this journey of where I live for one year. And I'm still in the same place where I started. I have a high power telescope film to the moon. And planets just about every night we may have a closed system but i don't believe that the moon and stars and planets are projected as mr sergeant does i am a uh geocentrist thought through (laughs) (laughs) geocentrist (laughs) okay here we go again that's from That's Jeffrey complex. Fraser, Ultimate <laughs> Litmus Test. Whenever the stars are, they are solid objects that have the ability to fall to Earth according to the Bible. Even a highly... Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> so, so sophisticated uh. projection has no s- substance... To it. However, I think it's possible that when you see up in the sky, it is contaminated with structure uh, where we live. <laughs> if what we experience as really is merely a simulation of sorts, it could be uh, manu- uh, see, man manipulated uh, to convince us. <laughs> That our world is much larger than it really is. <laughs> Thus, ne- uh, navigating our fear of confinement. Oh my God, I'm going to say that's that manipulated. <laughs> All right, that was, that was the comments by Mark. All right, so uh, yeah, let's just Thanks, uh, dive right on into it. So, Doug. They lie Ohio. And Mark Sargent. Mark K. Sargent. Right? Those are your handles. I don't know. But Mark, what is your handle on YouTube? It's Mark K. Sargent, right? It's Mark K. Sargent. It's actually my full name. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're not conceited. There's no, there's nothing no, in no. there. No, no. That way, you know, people will know who is doing it. You know? I figured a lot of people do Flat Earth. I didn't even uh, trademark Flat Earth Clues. So somebody's got, you know, flatearthclues.com and org and all that other stuff. So Really? Somebody else has all that? And yeah. you let them walk away with it, huh? Yep. You're okay with it? Yeah, the, you're, the you're, truth, you're, the you're truth should be free, man. Yeah. It should be that, available to the all. The truth will set you free. That comment I wrote, that's that's old, isn't it? How old is that thing? The comment you that you read. That? You know what? How about you don't you don't what? diss the comments that I <laughs> <laughs> that I, I put up to old read. Enough, it was written in pencil. <laughs> Must be crayon. only old as you feel. Really, this is not about me, people. This it's is written in crayon. Uh, really, 
<laughs> really, we're gonna go down backward road. ease and stuff. Are you children mm. done? We are having a yes. serious conversation here. All right, all right, let's get serious. <clears throat> okay, let's get serious now. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. Do you like Yorkshire pudding? Mm. Pudding. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> pudding. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Doug, you're looking at the moon right now. The moon that is projected onto the sky that, right, Mark says is projected. <laughs> so how crazy are you, Mark? Me? <laughs> I'm, I'm certifiable, no doubt. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the, uh, the world is a globe. Well, yeah, we'll have to debate that for another time. I only have a couple minutes. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, okay, the question of the day. This is all I got to really say to you guys because you guys have, you guys are just like scared of the air. Crazy. What do I do with it? <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, cold case files. Do you believe that dun, dun, dun. <laughs> there's a point where unresolved cases should be laid to rest completely? Maybe. Kind of, sort of. You don't know. Who knows? No. I don't. I don't think so. I think that uh, that's it, the I, only know, because answer. People, yeah. people love a mystery, and why? Why shut it down? And I mean, yeah, the law will of course bury it for a while, but uh, you know, if it's unresolved, eventually you've got to solve it. That means that many years in the future, somebody goes back in a time machine and figures it out. So be it. But I don't think. I, in fact, I don't believe in unresolved cases. I think they all get solved eventually. You think so? Yeah, I do. What about you, Doug? No, keep them open. Don't let them off the hook. Yeah. You know, they would love that. I mean, you know, there's... Don't you really want to know who killed John F. Kennedy? Yeah. That's been beat to dead with such a horse. I don't... I, I don't care. No, but I mean, you know, like like missing people that are buried, obviously, in the desert outside of Vegas. You know, how many people are out there? Lots. Um, If you believe, you know, I'll, I'll, just from my point of view, if this is a structured world if it's an enclosed system then i believe everything that is said and done is recorded and that there are no mysteries it's just we haven't figured them out yet but i think somebody's got the inside track but what if you go way back like to viking times like something from like thousands of years ago oh i mean viking times isn't as old as the place right so Let's no different th no different than um like in a computer like a keystroke logger on a computer you know, it doesn't matter if you, if if the, you if, if the computer is ten years old. Doesn't matter if you did it nine years ago. Whatever. As soon as the computer fires up, it's it's doing all that stuff. Yeah, I yeah, I think I they mean, should go. You know, for those, they should solve those. Keep solving those uh, cold case files. I really do. Yes. Amelia Earhart. Look at that. There you go. Yeah. I mean, man, where'd she go? Yeah, that's yeah. a good example. Yeah. Did she did she drop off because she uh, miscalculated her fuel consumption? For example, mm, you know, because the world was flat, not round. There it is. Right. <laughs> really? So yeah. go there. We knew that like was coming in. There. So, you know, did you watch my video yet, Mark? The video I made on Flat Earth? Uh, I watched some of it, yes. yes and what are you? I liked it. It was brilliant. A must see. Four stars. I cried. I laughed. <laughs> You're Sorry. such a dick. <laughs> Sorry. And put on the chapstick. <laughs> Leave the chapstick out of this. <laughs> How dare you bring up the chapstick? What's wrong with the chapstick? I love the chapstick. Now, what's it wrong? Was, with the it was a wonderful video, Brian. In fact, I was mildly aroused by it. <laughs> you know, people are going to think it's some kind of weird porno. <laughs> no, I, was, I was all being serious and stuff, and oh. you're like. There, there was a lot of phallic symbolism in there, and uh, I, I was surprised how many naked people you used. So, All the unless Masonic I was watching symbols. something completely different, <laughs> says that's that's know, the one I saw. <laughs> <laughs> how do I recover from this? They've hijacked my show. <laughs> that's all right. You don't. You been... <laughs> Do you really want to? Do you really We're want me? Over. <laughs> I, Mark, Mark, I told him to. 
I told him to show you that and let's see if somebody can make that golden number work on a flat earth. Yeah. If I'm you make if, if you make that golden number work to hit all those those uh points. Yeah, all has, the points. I, I, I gotcha. When, when, it, then there there's your map. Yeah, when when are we doing it? And when are we gonna make this map? Let's all get together on a weekend and do a big huge map. Well, do it. I'm busy. <laughs> I love you. Who are you talking to? All of you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I love you too. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I guess that pretty much answers my question. I have nothing else. Look at that. We did in the first 15 minutes. It's really awesome. I'm really, <laughs> really proud of this. I was hoping for a lengthy discussion on cold case files. You had two guests that agreed with each other. <laughs> Uh, is that is that what it was? Yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah. But we don't agree some, on the guitar. You need something yet. we disagree. Uh, but I'm afraid to keep you guys on longer because if I do that, it will come back to haunt me. Humana's story is the story of humanity, one person at a time. We believe each person has a story to tell, and each story shapes that person into who they are today. Collectively, and more importantly. Each and every person's story shapes this little blue rock we call home. We are all together whether we like it or not. We also believe that your unique story might just help someone else traveling down your pathway in life. You might be their guide through this rough time. We are always looking for more exciting stories to share with the world. If you've got one, come share it with us today. The tuna population is down 97%. I'm a little bit fruit loopy. Not like Matt Boylan Fruit Loopy, but pretty Fruit Loopy. All right, we're back with Humana Story Lives, Coffee with Humana Story, episode number 54. I've got Mark Kelly Sargent and Doug They Lie, Ohio. I know there's more, but it doesn't make sense because it's just, it sounds better all at, all at one time. And uh, so we were talking about. Sizes, and you uh, were saying that yours was small, right? I was, well, yes. <laughs> no, what I was the question was: Are we talking about length versus girth? And you know, what's more important, Christina? <laughs> mm, I don't know. It should have an full. equal measure of both, I believe. Good answer. Good answer. It's, that's kind of what I expected. And Brack, what um, do you think? Uh, yeah. All right, well, I don't even think of mine right now because it doesn't get that. It, it, it hasn't been out in a long time, so I got to take it out sometime. <laughs> oh, God. If you'd like to see you, it, I can show it to you. You'll, you'll get views now. <laughs> the show. Oh, yeah. no, I'll I'll get so views. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay, so, uh, all right, so cold cases. What do you guys think? I know you guys said it before, but I want to hear a little more in depth. So do you think they should be laid to rest or not? No. Well, think about think about man. The pyramids are technically a cold case. Why don't you leave? They've been around out of this. For, you never want to answer my question. Speaking of the pyramids, <laughs> what do they have to do with flat Earth? Well, there you go. The Earth's a cold case, isn't it? It is. Oh, hey, God. see, oh, he knows what's God. going on. Here we go. <laughs> There we go. Okay. 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 Let's let's just blow the lid off this. You know, I took time to research this question out. <laughs> but, no, you uh, didn't. You watched like three episodes <laughs> of CSI. That's all you did. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'd say the round is better. The round the what? Round what? <laughs> the, sphere, the round of the whatever. Globe? The round of whatever. What are you talking about, Mark? <laughs> Don't listen to me. This is Brack. Talking slack. <laughs> I want to know what goes inside your head. <laughs> I don't you either. You thought that? I don't. You I'd think like to know too. I'm going to say this. I'm getting ready to say it. Here I go. I'm going to say it. The <laughs> round is better. <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot of round out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, we don't. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like so rounded. Well, no, rounded. Oh, oh, that's where God. we're going. Oh, that's right. where we're going. Okay. Uh, nothing like bleeping stuff out. I, <laughs> I like more work. You know, rounded. 
what are you sort of like doing? uh what's what's the curvature either it's eight eight inches per boob squared something like that <laughs> <laughs> oh now we're gonna make fun of my my calculations and the cool thing that I, thanks, oh, oh is, these are your calculations <laughs> 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 Yeah. No, Orphan Red and I were working out this, and, and it, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it, what it came out to. <laughs> oh, God. So what happened with those uh, interviews? Something about uh, some new guy doing interviews. Yeah, tell us about uh, Scarecrow. Scarecrow. You, it's it's not pronounced any different. It's called Scarecrow. Duh, but it's Scarecrow. just spelled yeah, with K's instead of C's. Yeah, it's the Scarecrow. The Scarecrow. The yeah, Scarecrow. no, it's fine. He he's he's kind of in touch with uh, all the other Google Hangouts, you know, the ones that last like six and eight hours where the people just freaking tear into each other. And he's sort of become, I don't know, sort of like a liaison. So he's he's coming out. He's he's interviewing people, and he interviewed Orphan Red, and he wanted to talk about the mixer, you know, the Seattle mixer that I did, and and you know what happened he wanted to get a few more details and so he interviewed her and then he interviewed me and it went pretty well you know he asked some good questions some tough questions and we didn't you know we didn't script it out and he didn't you know tell me what he was going to ask and i was about as truthful as i could be you know it was it was a good time and i still don't feel guilty necessarily for anything that i did and honestly and i'll put this to you guys too it's like look if if you're at a, a really nice you know dinner and meeting a whole bunch of people in flat earth and a couple attractive Canadian girls come up to you and you say, Hey, we have a bunch of bottles of wine. Why don't we uh, go to the room and get nuts? Really? If, I'm, if I say no, I would probably have caught more hell than if I said yes. So That's how long do you think that that's actually going to go on? I mean, oh, it like never <laughs> stops. Oh, the mixer, the mixer thing, the story. Oh, that's going to be around for a while. <laughs> well, because Orphan ca- Red's still around and never so is Melody. So, you hear me, Brian? A what? cold case should never close. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yep, really? Safe, tied it right in. Really? Hold yes. on. Let me add a little bit of flair to it. There you go. Your applause. That you're to do. <laughs> you know, even um, even Scarecrow asked at one point. He had a good question. That was, did I end up wearing the yellow princess dress towards the end? And that was not actually an option. I do believe me. I have you quoted in saying that you like yellow princess dresses, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I like them. I didn't say I like wearing them. Oh, wow. <gasps> you know, unless I'm having like some wine wearing them? myself. You know, with some scented candles, maybe. No, I don't. No, it was it was a cute dress. It was it was Sasha's dress, Orphan Red's dress. But uh, Melody but he does wearing like them. What? <laughs> Mar, I, you know, <laughs> you just gotta roll with it. We, man. we gave I, M Key some coffee before I gave the him show. Coffee before the show. He's got. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a coffee anymore? nut right now. Correct. <laughs> Definitely so, Tourette's. Doug, you said your channel is gonna go in a different direction. What do you mean? Uh, you said it was gonna go in I, a different direction. I think I might uh, start making videos, kind of. I don't think Dan Pratt should go it alone. There's a lot to say out there, and he's by himself. He's bitching about the government. I mean, he's straightforward. A lot of people don't like him. Hell, I agree with everything he says. I mean, not not as far as his opinion on people, but I'm, about the government, <laughs> he's spot on. Right on it. I disagree with him, so might help the guy out some. <laughs> what about you, Sergeant? Do you know anything about Dan Pratt? Oh yeah, yeah. Dan's called me out a few times. I mean, I've got nothing. I've got, I got no beef with anybody. You know that. Dan Pratt, he's very enthusiastic, and he and he tells it like it is. And I, I like what he does. I like his approach. Um, you know, he he wants other people in the community to do different things. I understand that, but you know, his enthusiasm is doesn't go unnoticed, and hopefully, he'll keep doing it. Problem is, he's going to burn himself out eventually. Think so? Yeah. I he, thought he already he, did yell into the out. camera like that. There's only so many days you can yell before, you know, you 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 you're really waiting for something to happen. Of course, I think something's going to happen pretty soon anyway. Yeah, his last video, he said he's kind of tired of, you know, he's going back to the his roots, start proving stuff. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, good video, his last one. 
So in the whole scheme of the Flat Earth community and all it entails, are there any new discoveries that have come out? Well, there's that tree thing oh, God. that swept oh, God. through like like wildfire. Like um, a forest fire? Really? <laughs> ah, ah, you see what I did there? <laughs> that, that's, that's very clever. The, um, it's yeah, not very yeah, funny for it, us in San Diego since we do have a huge fire going. Yeah, thanks We a don't lot. pay attention to you out there. <laughs> yeah, San Diego, who cares? All right. The, exactly. um, the, the tree thing oh, was that, you know, that, that, you know, a lot of the mountain ranges and stumps and ma- or mesas that are out there are actually stumps of uh, very, very old uh, ancient trees that, that towered above the surface. And, and it apparently resonated with a whole bunch of people. It's a fairly unique theory. I mean, I know there's some other people that have kind of talked about it a long time ago, but this Russian guy kind of broke it down and it was really good. And uh, I mean, it doesn't, didn't resonate with me as much as it did. Other people were like wept openly. It's yeah. like it's it's true. It's the forest from Avatar. It's, this is it, <laughs> this is it, man. Well, that's the and, first thing I saw when I was watching. Well, first off, I couldn't watch the original one. I could barely understand that guy. If I yeah. if if Globebusters hadn't uh, redid it, redone it, re- redid yeah. done, redone it, I wouldn't have been able to. There's no way. Like yeah. I mean, Doug was saying that. That they had, he had to watch it like five times before he understood it. Yeah. I, I, I don't understand where he's going with that. I mean, the only picture I had was Avatar, the movie, and I was like, really, we're going to do that? Which brings me to another question. Why is everything about the movies? Every time well, people because, re- reference things, it's always about a movie. Because we've made, we've come to a point uh, in cinematic expression where we've covered pretty much everything. You know, we, we have a reference for almost everything you can think of that's out there. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, you can I mean, that's why I use as many and I've, it's gotten worse with age. I I do movie and television references for so many things. You know, the, the old saying, there's nothing new under the sun. It's so, so true. Uh, not to not to throw in one of my old rants, but, uh, you know, look back the the peak of American cinema. And, you know, I will challenge anybody this, you know, throw down cash money. The peak of American cinema was in 1999. You know, look up all the movies that were made in 1999, and after that, it's just been a steady cl- to, decline, especially since like 2003, to where there's we we really don't have any original concepts. So to answer your question, yeah, uh, we can reference everything in movies because everything in movies has been done. Yeah, that's a good point. There's not there anything. Seriously, really have have fun undiscussed. looking at movies in 1999. You'll be amazed. Yeah, there's just just too many repeats of movies too. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you know, look at the movies we've repeated. I mean, we rebooted Spider Man, for God's sakes. We're, you know, we're redoing Star Wars. We're redoing Star Trek. We're, we, there's nothing. Is there a new series out there? Yeah, aren't you they know, making how, a, a superhero woman in there, an Iron Woman now? And she, and doesn't Iron Man turn into a woman or someone like that? Yeah. Thor. Yeah, aren't they dude. doing that with Thor? I think they're doing oh, that with the, all of them. In the comic book series, yes. Yeah, there you go. You know they've run their course. Now they're changing genders. Here we go. Mm-hmm. There you yeah, go. The, what do you think the, about the new Ghostbusters movie that came out? That's a perfect example of it. Something, Look, should, made, something should have been left alone. Yeah. They made several Ghostbusters, and, and they redid it. I'll say this, though. The internet, they redid, like, the first trailer that came out just got panned. And uh, it still made money. <laughs> I don't think, I, I don't know if they're going to make another one, but. Mm, yeah, there was some controversy on it. Some people really liked it, and some people. Well, really no, it's it not some contro- controversy. Are you kidding me? Go look at the official trailer. It has more thumbs downs than it does have a thumbs up. Oh, really? Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. It's like five hundred thousand thumbs down, wow. and like seventy nine thousand <laughs> thumbs up. Jeez, that was bad. Okay, Mark Sargent, what is going on new with MarkSargent.com? Uh, MarkSargent.com, you know, I'm throwing out as much new ca- content as I can. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've got so much on there already. Uh, it, I just don't know until it happens. And then, you know, the YouTube channel, you know, interviewing new people, doing more more Strange World episodes. Uh, I don't know. Nothing, nothing real special. I'm just kind of waiting for the next step at this point. Either subject matter experts or the next level, which is something mainstream uh that that's which is why i'm creating you know daily things called the uh flat earth the great or the um uh the secret guilty pleasure of the world which is 
because the numbers have gotten so high. You know, when you looked on YouTube last year, this time last year, you maybe got two million, pushing three million relevant search results. And now if you do the same thing today, it's, you know, seven million. And, you know, mainstream starting to take notice because we're beating the heck, the crap out of a lot of really big mainstream topics. So why hasn't anybody touched it yet? And uh, they think it's too controversial and, and you know, they're, they're holding back. But it's only a matter of time now. The, the numbers are too big. So that's that's where I'm kind of leaning. I'm just trying to bring this thing to the next level. Mr. They Lie Ohio. Yes, sir. What is going on with your channel that is new? You do I a lot. Am... Well, you recently started doing all this moon stuff, which is really cool. Your 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 videos are getting better. Yeah, I got a new camera, uh, uh, Canon, and I'm actually working with others. And when we catch a transit, something that goes in front of the moon. And if we both see it, somebody in North Carolina, me being in Ohio, that tells us it's not in just one person's view. So, in other words, it's closer to the moon. And that's what we're doing. It's kind of like triangulation, you know, and that tells us a lot. Either the moon's closer or that's a damn big object for us both to capture it across the United States. And so, you know, Mark, actually, I have a good question for you that I thought would be an interesting one is... What do you think of They Lie Ohio and doing moonshots? Couldn't couldn't hurt at this point. Sure. Why not? I mean, I don't I don't know what is going to be the next resonating topic at this point. You know, if if it's that, great. Fantastic. I well, you know Liz, I'm gonna cut you guys off because I only got like a minute left. So I'm just gonna say you guys are awesome. You know we love you. Yes, we yeah. love you. And, uh, well, we love you, uh Doug and uh, Mark Sargent. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we'll see you guys. Mark, Mark, Christina, Brian. Thanks uh, for having me. All right, so we're going to lead out with a uh, song from The Scarecrow called Where Do I Go From Here? And uh, Mark, catch you on the other side. Have, have we started recording yet? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Story thanks you for listening and your activity within our community. We hope to grow a little each day with the lives of ordinary people doing extraordinary things in life-changing events.